All right, hello, my name is Jason. I'm a realtor here in Utah, and I've struggled trying to use this uh, zoning map from Weber County to show my clients who are looking to purchase a short-term rental. Um, we've struggled to use it, both of us, so I've, I've figured it out, and I figured I might as well make this video, put it on YouTube so everybody can use it. So when I always Google Weber County zoning map, nightly rental, something like that, and this always comes up, night, nightly rental map. And there are instructions here, but I swear I click it and you still don't see anything. So I'll show you the trick. You actually have to unclick. Well, make sure you don't click on zoning, I should say. So uh, so my buyers, we're actually looking up in the Ogden Valley. They want somewhere near Powder Mountain. So, you know, how do we know which areas allow for nightly rentals and which areas don't? Where Weber County has really cracked down on them. You know, much like Washington County, um, there's designated areas where you can and can't. And if you operate where they can't, you always have the, you always run the risk of having them shut you down. So when we pull this up, we click on the layers. It's the three pieces of paper or whatever. And you come down to planning. Now don't check it or you won't see the short-term rental areas. Um, so you expand it with that little arrow to the left there. And then you'll see nightly rentals. Now if you click on it, oh, and then you have to unclick zoning. Is that correct? You have to unclick. What do we have to unclick? Right, everything? Oh, now it's not doing it. Okay. There you go. Okay. So keep, that's the trick. See, every time I have to click on like five different things. So you click planning layers, but make sure zoning is off. And then the others, I'm not sure. You can probably leave those on city boundaries. Um, I guess you can leave map labels. It looks like it labels a couple of major highways, but that's about it. Um, so here you go. This is the map. Um, anywhere that's green, all those neighborhoods, short-term rentals are allowed. Now, if they're purple, it says there's a, it's allowed with a conditional use permit, and you also need to check with the HOA, because I know technically it's zoned, but some of the HOAs are putting up a, a fight, and they're, they're trying to keep you out of there. So here you go. Let's turn off the red. So here... This is all the areas that are allowed or potentially are allowed right at the mouth of Powder Mountain. So you have, um, you know, Wolf Creek, um, the Moose Hollow area. So some of the communities right here. Uh, if you go down closer to Pineview Reservoir, you do have a community down here. So there you go. If you're kind of looking up in the Ogden Valley, you want to see if... Uh, the property you're looking to buy allows nightly rentals. Definitely jump on there and you can use the map. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Also, being a local realtor, I'd love to help you find a home or vacation property. And I could love to run projections and help you sort that out. I've personally been a, an Airbnb host for over four years. So I do have experience as well.